I'm a partner in the firm's advertising and marketing practice group, and I help clients with all aspects of advertising and promoting their brands. A large part of what I do involves reviewing ads and advising clients about what claims they can make. I also defend clients when their claims get challenged, and I challenge clients' competitors when their ads step over the line. I also spend a lot of time working on promotions like sweepstakes and contests, and because a lot of those take place in new media channels, a lot of my work involves social media and mobile. I work with clients who are very creative, and it's always interesting to see what ideas they come up with. One tricky part about working with creative clients, though, is that when they're breaking new ground, it's not always easy to know where the legal boundaries are. In fact, some of the laws that govern cutting-edge social media campaigns or mobile campaigns were written long before the internet and long before people were using mobile phones. So there's not always a clear fit between what clients want to do and what the law says. Consumers tend to spend less money when the economy is down, and that often forces advertisers to find new ways to market their products. One strategy is to make more aggressive claims about the products, and another is to make comparative claims against competitors. Although those strategies can be very effective, they're also likely to draw more scrutiny from competitors. In fact, the number of challenges involving comparative claims has risen significantly over the past few years. Add to that the possibility of challenges from federal and state regulators, and the risks are even higher. Music